Hi, this is Kate Caruso, your teacher, and I just want to give you an introduction to Desire to Learn. So, I wanted to give you a quick overview. Um, to start off, you can access Desire to Learn through a couple of ways. If you log into your CCD Connect through the CCD website, www.ccd.edu, um, you can click on CCD Connect Login and they'll have a direct login. You can also click on, oops, sorry, um, the D2L Login right here and that'll take you directly there as well. So the login page looks just like this. It's your username and your password. Um, your username is your S number. You can find that on your um, ID. You'll probably want to memorize that because you're going to be using it a lot. Um, your password, if you've never used it before, should be your birthday. Okay, so if my birthday was January 1st, 1979, I put it up here so you guys could see it so it's not blacked out. Okay, I would write it January with a capital J, January 1st, 1979, no commas or anything. Okay, if you have any issues with um, Desire to Learn, you can always contact their technical support. They are 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Um, and you can give them a call. This information is located on their homepage. Do note that there is no www on their website, so it's ccd.desire2learn.com. This web page is also on the first page of your syllabus, so you can check that. Once you go ahead and log in, you'll be taken to a page that looks very much like this. So if you scroll down, you'll find all of the courses that you've taken at CCD. What you'll want to do is you'll want to go ahead and find the course that you are taken, taking um, this semester for our course. So we are spring 2013, and then you'll go ahead and find whatever course you are enrolled in, okay? And you'll go ahead and click on it. The other way to access it is to go up here to My Courses, and you'll select a course, okay? I'm going to go ahead and go to my dummy student so I can show you. So if you click on this basic, oh, no, no. Okay, it'll pull up a bunch of different ones. Then it's going to take just a second um, to load because it loads all of the courses that you are taking. My dummy student is enrolled in a lot of courses. Um, and, and you can go ahead and search for a course in there by course name. You can also do it by date access. So if you accessed it in the way that I just showed you previously, um, then you, you can it'll show up at the top. Okay. Um, the easiest way to keep those showing up at the top is to actually pin them. So if you click on one of these, it'll highlight orange, um, and then it'll always show up as one of your top courses. All right, so we are in our um, one of my classes um, home pages. Okay, um, right now in my course news, I have some information of if you are still struggling after this tutorial, you can go ahead um, and let um, the Teaching Learning Center know and you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one tutorial help. Um, all you need to do is send an email through your CCD email, not through your de Desire to Learn email at tlc at ccd.edu and they'll set up a time to do one-on-one -on -one tutoring with you. It's a fantastic way to really get comfortable with, with the software. Okay, for this course you're going to need to know a couple of things. The attendance is going to be big for this class Content is going to basically have everything because content is going to have discussions and the Dropbox embedded in it so you don't need to worry about actually clicking on those separately and then um, grades. You'll actually um, throughout the semester be able to see grades um, at certain times during the semester so you can make sure that you're doing well in the class. So if I click on attendance for my dummy student And as that's loading, um, I'll let that load. Um, the other things I want to point out are these um, functions up here. I'll talk more about them in a later tutorial. Um, but this is the email, but any messages you get, if there's a little red dot up there, that means you have emails um, there. If you see a red dot here, that means you have updates. So if I've updated anything, you'll see a dot up there. And then finally, this is the chat function. Um, for those of us that are doing um, study groups or things like that, or you want to privately chat with me, that, that'll turn red if you have a message from me. All right, so um, the attendance roster, every class that I have, you'll see something like this, and it will, will tell you the attendance policy for the class. If you click on it, it'll tell you um, where you're at in the class. 
um, and everything um, that <clears throat> every class period okay so I've got all the class periods listed here um, and then this student's not doing too well they were late more than 15 minutes late okay which equals an absence um, and then they were absent um, the next two class periods so up here in attendance summary it says one late and two absences so they have three absences in this course because remember in my class more than 15 minutes late equals an absence all right next and most importantly let's go ahead and click on content under content um, you can find the most important things in this course so if you lose anything um, you can go ahead and come on to here. Um, for some reason, it looks like the course syllabus was dropped from here. I'll go ahead and add it up here. Um, but if for some reason you lose your course syllabus, you can come on, click on here, and you'll be able to download it. Um, this is <clears throat> some added help for setting up your student email if you're having issues with doing that or if you haven't done it before. So if I click on this, it's a PDF file. Um, by the way, Word files can be downloaded in Word or PDF. So if I click on this, it actually opens it up in a viewer. You can also click download and it'll download it. That way you can actually print it. Um, so this activates student, your student email. Um, it loads it up. And if it doesn't take too long, you'll be able to see the document that I had uploaded. We'll give it just a second to try and load. Sometimes the internet takes a little bit longer than we would like it to. Um, but you'll be able to see it in the viewer and you can get all of the important information. And remember, in any um, browser, you can always open up extra um, windows so that you can go back and previously view um, the, the window that's open. So you don't necessarily have to print it. Hmm and it doesn't want to seem to load. I will double check that that is working correctly, but that should be up on all, all of my D2L shells. All right, so let's go back to the content. <clears throat> all right, so the final thing is that each week I will have um, something that looks like this. So. Um, for this particular course, we met Tuesday, January 22nd. So if you click on January 22nd, um, I have two things. When you see bubbles like this, it means discussion forums. So we are doing blogits in this class. So if you click on the blogit, um, this is the assignment, okay, and this is what they are supposed to respond to, okay. Um, and this will directly open me up into the discussions, okay. So now they know exactly what the assignment is, okay? And if they want to actually do the assignment, they can click Compose, and it pulls up this window. And I would be able to, I type my subject, so um, Kate's assignment. And I'm going to say don't respond to this one. Okay, and then down here at the very bottom, you'll see post. So I can post it directly to the forum. Okay, and then it shows up. Once you've posted one, then you can actually respond to other people's. So once you see this, you can say reply. If you really liked what this person said, if you click reply, Once again, it opens something up, and you say this is a reply. Now, make sure that you are taking time and giving more genuine replies than something like this. This is just for a demo, of course. Okay, um, And these are for everyone to see, so don't forget that. I also have coffee shops in all of my um, uh, discussions. So these I will not I will monitor but I will not be responding to so I have two I need help. So for those of you that want help um, for questions, um, let's let's create a community forum and go to these and check. 
Okay, so if you if you start posting in these, you guys can start helping each other out. The other one is want to get together for a real study group. Um, so for those of you that want to um, form outside um, relationships and work together to um, help each other out, this is a fantastic way to exchange information. Um, the last thing I want to say about the blog it, um, if you click on on this upper blog it, this this tells you the grading. Okay, how I actually grade it, and you can go through and actually read it. Okay, I know I'm going through this quickly, so you can pause and take a look at it at any point. Okay, the final thing that, that I want to cover in this um, post is grades. There's nothing much to look at right now, but if you click on the grades, um, it will pull up what your individual grade is um, at different points during the semester. I do my best to keep these updated, um, but absolutely after major assignments such as essays, um, your grades will be updated. You can also always email me and ask me what your grade is in the class and I will, will let you know. Okay. Um, the Dropbox will be used, but like I said, it will be embedded in content. Okay, So it will be under that date when it's due and you'll just simply post there and I will have a specific um, screencast showing you how to use the Dropbox. If you have any questions or need further help, always email me um, at kate, K-A-T-E, dot caruso, C-A-R-U-S-O, at ccd.edu. Thank you very much.